Hello guys, Haruna here. In this screencast, we're gonna take a look at uh, the new Cisco Packet Tracer, which is 7.0. I already have it installed on my PC. If you look down here, you can see that it, the version is uh, 7.00. So um, the idea is uh, just to have a quick walkthrough, like to see what's, what's, what's been added to this version uh, uh, is probably missing in version 6.0, 5.0, and the other uh, older versions. So the first uh, thing I have here is uh, a list of few network devices. I have uh, this, this Cisco 1240 router is one of the routers that has been added to Cisco Packet Tracer 7.0 so if we go to routers here we can just pick 1240 that's the 1240 router yes you can see this uh, one of the new routers that have been added so you can view let's just zoom in so we do a physical view real quick you can Play around with uh, the power source, take it off. Uh, yeah, that's the adapter. You can bring it back, back on. When we go to the CLI, we can quickly see the number of interfaces we have on this uh, on this device by default. Uh, show IP interface brief. So you can see we have. Uh, fast Ethernet interfaces, we have gigabit Ethernet interfaces, and we also have dot 11 radio interfaces on this device. So let's uh, move on. We have IoT Home Gateway, which is like the major uh, breakthrough with Packet Tracer 7.0, the support for Internet of Things. So we have uh, I this IO see home uh, gateway that's internet of things home gateway is device that you can have your smart devices at home connect to so when we go to end devices uh, let's see wireless devices we can you can pick this your home gateway and physically you see this what it looks it looks like you can zoom in the Ethernet ports. You can see the configuration. If it's on, if you want to use HTTP or HTTPS as a protocol for your devices to connect, your home devices to connect, the interfaces, it's probably, it's, it's going to do a DHCP. So that's where this address comes in handy. Like this address are going to be issued out from this pool. So uh, let's move on to the next one. We have Cisco IE2000 industrial switch. So if I go to the switches, you can see this new device. Yes, industrial switch, physical config, You, it's still loading. I just want to do a, a real quick uh, show IP interface brief, just so we see the number of interfaces we have running on this on this device show IP interface brief you can see the number of interfaces we have by default here we have gigabit in gigabit uh, ethernet interface vlan one of course is on virtually all the devices first ethernet interface as well then the next device we have is the cisco 81991ox router it has a applications hosting support that's like you can add, add uh, virtual machines to this new router so we can get that from routers you let's see let's see uh, it's one nine works this is it click on it physically this is what you see you can zoom zoom in just look around power button power, power it on off if you like then the CLI is still loading, so let's uh, let's see some of the things you can just do real quick. No, 
so show IP interface brief. You can see we have fast Ethernet interfaces, gigabit Ethernet interfaces. We also have virtual port group. It's a virtual port uh, group. We have cellular interfaces as well. So this is like a huge improvement over previous router versions. The support for virtual machines, you can check your virtual service by using the show virtual service command hit enter you can see system cpu memory that's resource virtualization limits maximum vcpus per virtual service infrastructure diversion and everything so you can see the quota what has been permitted and what's available that's show you the support for virtualization on this on this router the next thing uh, the next device is the Cisco 819HGW router. So still on the routers, you can see that from here, the physical configuration, that's what it looks like physically, support for uh, 3G RSVD. <laughs> There's a port for that. And uh, power button, obviously, turn it on, off, to play around with it. It's just still uh, loading. So this this designed for IoT connectivity, Internet of Things connectivity, the Cisco 819HG 4G IOX router adds an application hosting capability at the edge of the network foundation of the new distributed computing that's uh, fog networking, Cisco uh, Cisco's uh, concept. So let's see. We can just check this real quick by saying, let's say no, you enable, let's see the interfaces we have on this, on this device, show sure, interface brief. It also have, uh, we have YLAN AP, uh, YLAN gigabit Ethernet, and we have fast Ethernet interface, gigabit Ethernet, giga, with Ethernet interface as well. We have a cellular interface support. Then we have the new Cisco 829 industrial ISR switch. So if you go to switches, you can find this device 8209 industrial switch um, where that's a router, yeah, industrial router. So 829. Okay, so you can see physically this what looks, uh, this what the device looks like, and the interfaces you have on, on it. So the CLI say no real quick and uh, enable. Show IP interface brief. You can see the number of interface cellular interface gigabit fast Ethernet, wireline gigabit Ethernet as well. You can do a show show version on this. Show version will basically show you the version of the iOS that is running on this device and some license information as well. So let's see, let's scroll down here. We have uh, more devices and internet of things support so let's see ioe that's internet of everything devices and sensors cisco packet tracer 7.0 has uh, more support for internet of everything which supports like things like a solar panel power meter car a wireless home gateway, power meter, weight sensor, motion, motion detector, temperature sensor, conveyor, just about anything you need. The things basically like the, the basic components you need to build a smart home or a smart city. So if we go to end devices, you can see if you click on homes, you can see this, this AC, air conditioner, appliance, battery, virtually Everything you need to, uh, we have uh, this device, IOE device, this a wind detector, water drain, solar panel. So just lots of tons of uh, things you can just use for probably 
your simulation for research or if you're just trying to design a smart city or a smart home and you're trying to check to see how everything is going to work together, how everything is going to behave. So the next thing we have the programming language support, Java, Python, Block for IOE, Internet of Everything. So let's see, for the programming languages, this means uh, you can make changes to these devices directly from the terminal. What I mean by that is, for instance, if we take um, this fan, if you click on it, on the fan, you go to advanced, it's loading. If you click on advanced, so you have IOE, that's IO config, physical. If you Google to this button that says programming, so you can see this basically JavaScript, this domain file. You can make changes to this. That's if you know how to code, of course. So you can make changes to this. You can see the functions that are being used, variables being declared, constants, and everything. So you can you can play around with this and tune it to what you want as well. Python, that's on the a single board computer has this Python uh, support. So let's we're going to see that when I get to this stage. So programming tab for IOE device configuration. That's what we just what I just showed you now. Then wireless IOE RFID sensor for smart city. So for a smart city, you you have different kinds of sensors. RFID you can use RFID card. RFID reader, like they have, they have a bunch of stuff here that you can just do virtually anything that has to do with uh, Internet of Things. So let's see a single board computer. If you come to, let's scroll down here. Yes, we have a single board computer here. If I click on it, you can see physically what it looks like. You can power it off, power it on here. You can remove the power adapter if you like. Then you can plug it back in, power it on. You can check the programming. You can see it's using a uh, Python. So if you know how to code in Python, you can manipulate this, play around with it as well. Then what we have here next is uh, network protocols and features. The resilient Ethernet protocol is also part of Cisco Packet Trace 7.0, improved PoE support, that's uh, power over Ethernet support, then IoT switch protocol support, LLDP, which is link layer discovery protocol is also supported here, then span and R span, span is uh, switch port analyzer, then remote switch port analyzer. Then we have uh, precision time protocol, PTP, previous versions of uh, Cisco Packet Trace are usually comes with a limited number of uh, protocols that sometimes you need to use other emulators or simulators like GNS3 to get some things done, but not anymore. Additional features we have uh, the pipe, using pipe in show commands, just like in uh, real Cisco iOS. So let's see, let's try, let me show you what I mean by using pipe. That's for those of you who might not know what that means so if i'm using let's say show ip interface brief just to see the number of interfaces we have if i hit enter it's going to list all the interfaces available on this device but i can either exclude or begin from a particular place or include a particular keyword if i like so let's ex exclude anything that has to do with fast ethernet so we can now say show we can say show IP interface brief. Then here we use pipe and say exclude uh, fast ethernet. We exclude anything that has to do with fast ethernet. So you can see this output is not gonna show us any, any interface that has uh, fast ethernet. It's not gonna show us fast ethernet interfaces. So you can use either exclude, so after using after uh, putting pipe, you can use exclude, include, or begin. Those are the options you have available. Begin, it begins on filtered output of show command, exclude and include. Then you have a modifiable uh, environment for demonstrating IoT devices. 
so this is like uh, a quick walkthrough, like a quick overview of what you have in a new Cisco Packet Tracer 7.0. I think the main thing is the support for IOE devices, IOE, that's, yeah, IOT devices, Internet of Things devices. This could be helpful for researchers or just anyone that is fascinated by uh, emerging technologies such as the Internet of Things. And if you want to download this, I have a copy and I'm going to drop the link in the uh, description box below. So, so you can just download and play around with it. Okay, one more thing is uh, I have this file, this uh, the Packet Tracer Home IoT implementation where you can see the devices device lots of devices have been configured here like a lot of iot devices like temperature monitor water level monitor lawn sprinkler like this this for a smart home actually this for a smart home you can see motion detector just webcam just things you can many things you can have in your home like if you're trying to build some smart uh, smart home uh, scenario, ceiling fan, wind sensor, a single board computer, just anything, the things, the basic things you need. So that's, that's, that's basically it. So remember you can download Cisco Package Tracer 7.0. I'm going to share the link. I'll put it in the descri uh, description box so you can have it installed and try out the new features. So thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe for more videos like this. Bye.